Hello, the Serbsat team is thrilled to have you with us. The course continues and I will tell you more about off-page optimization or link building in this video. Here we will learn what backlink website promotion is and how it works. We will analyze the most effective methods for obtaining links, which can apply to sites in any niche. Ready? Let's get started. Off-page optimization, a crucial aspect of SEO, boosts traffic from search engines by focusing on activities outside the promoter's website. While link building is a key component, off-page optimization encompasses more than just that. Here are the key off-page SEO aspects. Obtaining high-quality backlinks for the promoted site. Increasing brand recognition and obtaining new connections. Engaging with social signals. Backlink volume remains a vital ranking factor due to a few reasons. First, backlinks signal to a search engine that the site reputable and trusted. Second, links from reliable sources indicate that the site's information is valuable and trustworthy. These links can come from various sources, such as local portals, general topic sites, blogs, niche catalogs, and social networks. Now, let's cover a few fundamental concepts related to off-page optimization. The first term is backlink volume, which represents all active backlinks from external sources pointing to the promoted site. Next is backlink profile, which provides an overall subjective evaluation of all links directed towards the site. Professional tools like Serpstat, backlink analysis can be used to analyze the backlink profile accurately. Third is donor. It refers to the platform where the promoted site links are placed. And fourth is the acceptor, which represents the site to which the link directs. There are various types of backlinks. The main ones are Editorial backlinks. These are links from reputable websites that choose to link to your high-quality content. Guest blogging backlinks. These are links obtained by writing a guest post on another website. Relationship-based backlinks. These are links obtained through building connections with other website owners or bloggers. Common backlinks. These are links obtained by commenting on other websites or blogs, Twitter, Mastodon, Quora, Stack Overflow, etc. Badge backlinks. These are links obtained by creating a badge or widget that other websites can display on their site. Unlinked mentions. These are links acquired when a website mentions your brand or business without necessarily linking to your site. Paid backlinks are basically links acquired through payment. And press release backlinks. These are links obtained by distributing media releases that include links to your site. Links also possess attributes that provide additional information in HTML code, aiding search engines in understanding link purpose and processing. Some important link attributes are nofollow. This attribute instructs search robots not to pass link juice through the link. It is useful for eliminating spam, pointing to untrustworthy sites and internal links to non-indexed pages. Do follow. This attribute commands search robots to follow the link. Sponsored. Recommended for paid content, such as guest posts promoting the site. UGC. Marks links to user-generated content, indicating 
now control over the link content quality. No referer, no opener. Shows information about the source of the transition and counts the link as direct traffic. Additionally, these links open in a separate tab. Now that we understand the importance of obtaining links from high-quality sites for website promotion, let's explore how to select suitable sites for acquiring links. It is essential to consider the following factors. Subject. The donor site theme should closely align with the promoted site's theme. Traffic. Although measuring someone else's site's traffic is not precise, it helps in the competitor analysis and selecting donor sites. Tools like Serpstat's domain analysis provide estimated SEO traffic. Backlinks, external links. Assess the backlink profile of the donor site, preferable targeting sites with higher Serpstat domain rank, SDR, for optimal results. Domain age and history. Check the domain's history using Web Archive Org to avoid potential risks from previous owners. Long-standing domains with one owner are preferable. Content update frequency. Links from actively maintained and updated sites offer more benefits. Ads and pop-ups. Avoid sites with excessive advertising banners and pop-ups that might hinder user experience. Search engine penalties. Links from penalized sites harm the acceptor site's reputation. Checking for penalties on someone else's site can be challenging. However, some indicators can help you make an informed judgment. Consider the number of indexed queries and the total number of indexed pages for the site. If these indicators are low for a large site, it may be under a penalty. The presence of a site in link exchanges shouldn't immediately discourage you. It's simply a signal that the site warrants a closer look. Many exchanges conduct their checks on sites before adding them to their directory. They provide reports on crucial site metrics for selection. Analyzing each potential link donor manually can be time-consuming. To expedite the process, use batch analysis of domains with Serpstat. Create a new batch analysis project. Add a list of potential link donor sites that you want to analyze and specify the parameters. Specify the search database from which you want to gather information. For the link step, you can use the default settings. Click Start Analysis. In the report, you will find backlink volume metrics for each domain. Export the list of domains conveniently and eliminate those that don't meet your requirements. Analyzing the existing backlink volume is crucial before embarking on link building to your site. Accurately assessing the starting point is essential to select an effective link building strategy. A link building strategy aims to build links for a specific site to maximize link promotion results. When analyzing the backlink volume, there are three main indicators to consider. Dynamics. SEO indicators including link growth are variable. It can be slow, fast, or even explosive, although rare. Analyze the backlink volume to understand its growth rate or stability. Evaluate the dynamics to determine how quickly you need to build links to surpass your competitors. Geography 
The geolocation of a site is important for promotion. For instance, optimization of an online store in Poland requires link from Polish sites. The domain zone is an obvious sign of a site's geography. Ensure that most links to your site are from the target region, country or city where you want the site to rank. Link anchors Link anchors refer to the text attached to a link. A variety of anchors is beneficial for promoting a site. The anchor list should include keywords variation, non-anchor links such as hear or read more, and transactional words like buy or price. Ensure the site has a natural backlink profile with some nofollow links while maintaining more links than your competitors to avoid penalties. To collect data on links, there are helpful tools available. Google Search Console Connect the site to Google Search Console to access reports on the total number of external links, most linked pages, and a list of sites linking to your site. Although informative, this data isn't sufficient for a complete analysis. The second tool is Surpstat Backlink Analysis. Surpstat offers comprehensive reports for analyzing anchors, link dynamics, and geography. The summary reports provide insights into the number of referent domains, pages, changes in backlink volume, anchor distribution, and more. Having gathered the necessary information, it's time to create a link building strategy. Step number one. Analyze competitors. It helps answer crucial questions regarding the types of sites you need links from, effective link building strategies, the required link building pace to rank highly on Google search, and the content that attracts more links. Step number two. Assess your goals. Review your site's current state and the goals you want to achieve. Consider scenarios where your site has no links and rankings, where technical optimization is done but lacks references, or where the site has good rankings but requires more traffic. Tailor your strategy accordingly. Step number three. Consider fundamental components. A successful link building strategy includes identifying resources used for generating links, determining the appropriate timeline for link building based on competitor analysis, and prioritizing links or pages for link promotion. Step number four. Improvement. Continuous experimentation with new sites and different link acquisition methods is crucial for ongoing improvement. Remember, quality is more important than quantity regarding link building. While analyzing competitors and adopting successful strategies is essential, exploring new sites and experimenting with various link acquisition methods is equally important to enhance your results. Now, let's dive into specific strategies and methods that you can employ to enhance your link building efforts. So, let's get started by examining different approaches to link building. Method 1. Competitor backlink analysis and replication. How to implement this approach? Identify competitors, collect their backlink information, create a list of common sites to obtain backlinks from. Benefits include relevant backlinks and time saving, but drawbacks include dependency on competitors' relevance and limited immediate results. Method 2. The skyscraper technique and link bait content. Let's start with definitions. Link bait content refers to high quality articles that attract backlinks. The skyscraper technique, proposed by SEO specialist Brian Dean, helps in creating link bait content. How to implement? Step 1. Find competitors' content that receives many backlinks 
and identify ways to improve it using the backlink analysis tool. Step 2. Create content better than your competitors by offering more value or additional details. Step 3. Promote your content by reaching out to site owners, linking to competitors, and suggesting their link to your improved article. Benefits include quick and effective backlinks from trustworthy sites, but drawbacks include limited effectiveness outside English-speaking segment and labor-intensive content creation. Method 3. Guest posting. Guest posting involves creating content for other sites and negotiation a backlink to your site. Steps to implement. Find sites with high traffic good backlinks profiles, and an active audience for guest posting opportunities. Most sites host paid guest posts and work through link exchanges. Sometimes it's easier to publish your own article on thematic portal along with a company page. Finding sites with guest posting opportunities is easy. Use a plus search operator. For example, write for us plus interior design. Analyze the websites using tools like Serpstat to assess their performance and visibility. Craft a compelling pitch to persuade website owners or editors to accept your guest post. Create high-quality and relevant content that aligns with the target website's audience. Include natural and relevant links back to your website within the guest post. Ensure your guest post and activities adhere to editor's guidelines. Benefits include natural and effective backlinks, control over situation, and predictable results. But drawbacks include the need for resources and limited options. Method 4. Replacing broken backlinks. Sites not only get but also lose backlinks. And this can be used for your SEO. Identify broken links of your competitors using SEO tools. Analyze the lost backlinks and create similar content to replace them. Reach out to site owners and suggest they replace the broken links with links to your site. Benefits include effective and natural backlinks, but drawbacks include the time-consuming nature and uncertain timeline. Method 5. Search for brand mentions without links. Track brand mentions and contact site owners to request backlink following these steps. Set up monitoring tools like Google Alerts to track brands mentioned online. Identify websites that mention your brand but don't link back to your site. Prioritize outreach based on the main authority and relevance. Craft personalized outreach messages highlighting the value of a backlink. Follow up if you don't receive a response. Provide necessary information for adding the backlink. Maintain a positive relationship with site owners. Track and review your backlink acquisition progress. Please note, this tactic is suitable for recognized brands with an existing online presence and frequent mentions. Benefits include low cost and minimal risk of penalties, but this strategy is only suitable for recognizable brands. Method 6. Site placement in business listings. Submit information about your company, products or services in relevant directories with a link to your site. Examples of directories include Google Business Profile, main places for business, LinkedIn pages, etc. What is the process of adding a site as a list? Step 1. Visit each directory's website and navigate to the Add Your Business or Similar section. Step 2. Fill in the required information about your company, products, and services. Step 3. Include a link to your site in the appropriate field or section. Step 4. 
Verify and confirm your listing according to the instructions provided by each directory. Step 5. Repeat the process for other relevant directories. Benefits include quick and safe backlinks, but limitations include possible promotion only for the main page and the niche for a large directory list. Method 7. Crowd marketing. Crowd marketing is a strategy that involves actively participating in forums, common sections, and user-generated content platforms to acquire backlinks and increase brand exposure. When using this technique, it's important to follow a few rules. Place links with informative and useful text. Link to different pages of your site, not just to the home page. Avoid spamming or over-promoting your brand. Focus on providing genuine value to the community. How to start? Identify relevant forums, blogs, social media groups, and other platforms where your target audience is active. Join these communities and learn their rules and guidelines. Start engaging in conversation by providing insightful comments, answering questions, and sharing valuable information. Benefits include free backlinks and increased brand awareness, but limitations include a narrow impact on ranks and traffic. Method 8. Working with opinion leaders. Collaborate with influencers in your industry to increase traffic and brand awareness. Steps to implement. Identify suitable influencers in your industry using tools like Social Blade or Bassoma. Reach out to them through email or direct messaging. Highlighting the mutual benefits of collaboration. Offer value with collaborative content ideas aligned with their expertise. Negotiate the terms, ensuring transparency and flexibility. Collaborate on agreed-upon content, maintaining consistent branding. Leverage the influencer's platform to promote the content. Monitor performance using analytics tools. Measure website traffic, brand mentions, social media interactions, and backlinks generated. Nurture their relationship post-collaboration. Stay engaged, share their updates, and explore future collaborations for a lasting partnership. Benefits include reaching a targeted audience and expanding your own, but this strategy requires carefully selecting relevant influencers. Method 9. Backlink Purchase Backlink purchase is a method of acquiring links for your website by purchasing them through articles, banners, or sidewide links. It involves paying for placement on other websites to create backlinks that can enhance your site's visibility and search engine rankings. How to start? Find reputable websites or platforms that offer backlinks purchase opportunities. Evaluate pricing based on your budget and goals. Choose websites that are relevant to your industry and have a strong online presence. Reach out to owners, administrators to discuss placement details and negotiate terms. Provide engaging content with the desired backlinks, meeting website guidelines. Track the impact of purchased backlinks on website visibility and rankings. Note, backlink purchases should be approached with caution and complement other link-building strategies. Benefits include time saving and a wide range of available sites, but drawbacks include substantial costs and the need for careful site selection. Method 10. Outreach. Outreach for link building involves establishing personal agreements with site owners to acquire backlinks. It requires preparing a list of target sites, collecting contacts, negotiation placements, and publishing relevant pieces. Benefits include reaching a specific audience. 
fast results and more personalization options. But outreach can be labor-intensive and expensive. Method 11. Drop domains. This method involves using expired domains with quality content, trust, and backlinks for optimization. It requires SEO expertise and careful domain selection. Steps to implement. Identify expired domains with quality content, trust, and relevant backlinks. Evaluate domain metrics like Domain Authority, SGR. Verify the presence of authoritative and relevant backlinks. Investigate the domain's past, looking for penalties or negative associations. Choose between redirecting the domain or building a new site. Set up proper 301 redirects for seamless traffic and authority transfer. Repurpose existing content or develop new high-quality content. Benefits include quick rank improvement, but drawbacks include high costs, potential risks, and the need for expertise. And the last, method 12, scholarship. The method involves offering scholarship to educational institutions to obtain backlinks from authoritative EDU and GAO domains. This approach is effective for various regions and topics and helps in acquiring high-quality backlinks. The implementation flow. Determine the requirements for the scholarship program. Research and identify relevant educational institutions that accept scholarship, including universities and colleges. Reach out to the institutions and establish contact with the scholarship or financial aid departments. Present the details of the scholarship program. Highlight the value of the scholarship program and request a backlink from the institution's website to your website. Furnish any necessary information or documentation required by the institutions to validate the scholarship offer. Keep track of the backlink acquired from educational institutions and ensure they are correctly linked to your website. Promote scholarship program. Review application and award scholarship. Stay in touch with educational institutions, build relationships, and consider future collaborations or partnership opportunities. Advantages of this strategy include Acquisition of backlinks from EDU domain resources providing a significant boost in growth. Rapid accumulation of a large number of backlinks with minimal risk. However, it's important to note that this lean building technique can be labor-intensive and costly. We have analyzed the main methods and strategies of lean building, and you can already see that in most cases you will need to combine two or more methods to get enough backlinks to speed up website promotion. And now, we will share a few bonus tips and tricks from advanced SEO specialists and Serpstat users. Tip number one. Prioritize key pages first. Focus on a few important pages initially, aiming to improve their ranking in Serps. Once they achieve top positions, shift your focus to other pages. Tip number two. Embrace control link building. Rapidly building links is not always dangerous. When employing techniques like scholarship and link bait, don't hesitate to engage in quick link acquisition. However, exercise caution to avoid excessive backlink purchases that can harm your website's reputation. Tip number three. Identify queries that already show positive dynamics in search rankings. Backlinks in this case will speed up the process. Tip number four. 
concentrate on queries that rank just below the top 10 search results. These queries have a higher potential for upward movement and acquiring backlinks for them can propel your website into the top ranks. Tip number five. Seek out queries with lower competition but adequate search volumes. Use tools like SerpStats keyword difficulty indicator to identify such terms. Instead of focusing on generic keywords like buy a laptop, choose more specific keywords like buy an HP gaming laptop. Strike a balance between search volume and competition, as each industry offers queries with satisfactory volume and low competition. Tailor these tips to align with your unique SEO strategy and objectives. Congrats on completing this important SEO model from Serpstat. You now understand the key components of backlink promotion, including analyzing backlink volume, finding competitors, searching for link placement, creating a strategy, choosing methods, executing the link building process, and evaluating results. We look forward to seeing you in the next model, where you'll find essential information for SEO success. See you soon!